Welcome to Puppy Training 101, where I take you on my journey of training Emma, an eight-week-old golden retriever from a little fluff ball with shark teeth to a well-mannered adult dog like Ellie. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe so you can stay updated on future courses. In week two, we saw a lot of progress. So let's dive in and talk about potty training, crate training, socialization, integration with Ellie, and puppy skills. This week, we focused on building on the solid foundation that we established last week, as well as introducing a few new skills. So for sit, we removed the treat from our hand. Sit. Yes. Good girl. We added high five. Yes. Good high five. Worked on our down. Yes. Good girl. Mostly focus right now on the verbal and nonverbal combined. Eventually we'll get to each by themselves. Emma, sit. Yes. Good girl. We also added in stay. Stay. Yes. Freedom. Good girl. Then we added in the name game where we put two people in a room and we'd say Emma's name so she would come to us. Emma, come. Yes. Good girl. Good job. Ellie and Emma saw a huge progress this week in terms of integration. This was the first time we let them truly play with each other and Ellie was a sweetheart, which helped a ton. We kept an eye out for several things to make sure that we knew that they were playing and not fighting. For example, bouncy movements, exaggerated smiles, taking turns being submissive, going back for more. All these are great signs to show that they were positively playing with each other. Of course, we were still there to play referee if needed, but it's been amazing to see how much these two have been getting along. For socialization this week, we went to another puppy party where Emma was able to play with puppies around her same size in a safe and supervised setting. We also went over to a pet friendly store, which I'll link in the bio a blog of our top 10 favorite pet friendly stores. Our focus was having Emma experience new sights, sounds, and smells. In this case, she saw a forklift, she saw someone cutting wood, and tons of different people wearing masks, hats, and all sorts of different things to help with her socialization. Crate training went well this week. Emma didn't have any accidents, so we actually increased her gait to give her some more room. And we really focused on making sure that her time spent in the crate was positive. As you can see now, she's chewing a bully stick with a Bow Wow Buddy. Speaking of bully sticks, they have been amazing for satisfying Emma's urge to chew, for cleaning her teeth, and keeping her occupied in a positive manner. However, the last inch of a bully stick can be a choking hazard, which is why I love the Bow Wow Buddy. Check the description for a link to a blog and why you need this life-saving device. Overall, potty training this week went pretty well. We had a few setbacks with Emma, mostly when they were in unexpected times when she was going to the bathroom outside of her normal schedule. But the way that we saw the improvements were every time that we took her out of her crate, we would first go out to go to the bathroom. Anytime that we would play for more than 20 to 30 minutes, we'd give her an opportunity to go to the bathroom. And we also started noticing that Emma was learning to go to the door whenever she wanted to go to the bathroom. Now it was just momentarily. We started using this as a sign of, hey, let's take her out as soon as she goes by the door. And we had a lot of success in the last few days with that. Now, when it comes to accidents, one thing I'll note is not to overreact. If you catch your dog, say, going to the bathroom, uh, don't yell, don't do anything like that because all that's gonna train them to do is to go to the bathroom in a corner or somewhere where you don't see them. The best thing to do is just go up to them, help carry them outside, hopefully they finish outside, and don't punish them. Because at the end of the day, it's really on us as dog owners to make sure that we're training them where they can or cannot go to the bathroom. 